What's up, everybody? Excel Dude coming at you again. I gotta say, it's not often that Excel blows my mind with something it can do. This is one of those things. If this has been helpful to you, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, and let's jump into it. So we're doing a web query. We have a table of data we need to put in here from the internet, and we need to run some analytics off of it, or maybe track progress, something along those lines. The easiest way to do it that I'm sure we've all done, you'll just go to the internet page, and you will highlight what you want, control C copy, control V paste. And there you go. You can change your data up. We'll have to add this. We'll have to get rid of these as links and so on. And we're gonna have to get rid of, we don't want that. We don't want that. Maybe we don't want it underlined, that kind of stuff. And again, we can't click directly on it because the dang thing's a link. So you've gotta be careful. That's a pain, so we're not going to deal with that. What we're going to do is let Excel do all that for us. So you hit your data tab, and we go from web. Instead of copying and pasting that table, each one you individually need, you just copy the URL, paste it in there, hit OK, and then we're just going to wait for Excel. Right now it's connecting from the spreadsheet to the internet, and the internet is bringing that data right back to the spreadsheet. We don't need to know how to code anything, and you'll see on most pages, when there's a lot of data, you'll see multiple tables. Say we want Eastern Conference, Division Standing, stuff like that. Then we have overall stuff. So we'll just look through here and see what our, uh, what our best option is. So right now, we just want the Eastern Conference. And the easiest thing to do is you hit load, and it pulls it right in there for you. It's going to give you a new tab once it does all the queries, processes those, and here it is, getting data, it's running, good old spinning circle, and there it is, it's fantastic. It's in a table, it's in Excel format, we don't have those links, it's much easier to work with. But, we have to change it up a little bit. Let's say we need to get rid of these. So we could do equals replace the old text I want to uh, this and I want it to. Uh -huh. Anyway, you can do a replace function, clean these out, copy it here, paste it there. This isn't a video on that, but it's a pain. It shows you some of the things you'd have to do. Maybe going there, all that stuff. So we're going to eliminate that as well because we have better things to do. And there's always things that come up that blow our day. So we go data from web. As that's going, we still have the URL, so we paste that right in there, hit OK, and instead of hitting that load button, all we're going to do is hit transform data right here. And this one is great. So we pick our conference standings table, we have the Eastern Conference, transform data. Now it's going to open the Power Query Editor. When you're doing this, I mean, this is one of the most amazing tools in Excel that I've ever seen. It, it blew my mind when I first found it. So all we're going to do is, let's say we need to change, we just want to get rid of, we don't want to see the 76ers, for example, per, maybe if you're not a, a fan of them. Right click, and then you can either delete the row, or you can do this, remove rows, and maybe we just want to get rid of, you know what, let's get rid of, Hmm. Yeah, let's check if there's duplicates. Maybe we wondered if the data is going to have an issue. Doom. So it'll do that. And here's the step. So this is when it connected to the internet. This is when it navigated to that table. This is when it changed the data type to Excel, which is what you see here. And we checked to remove any duplicates. So if for some reason there was an error in that, that had the calves twice, it pulled the first one or the second one out. So we've already done a little QC there. We've told Excel to do that. Maybe we want to also get rid of these parentheses and the numbers. So we just go here, click on the column, then we're just going to go with replace values. And you'll have to do a few of these, but it's only once. You'll never do it again. We want to left parentheses, replace it with nothing. OK, and they're gone. Then we go replace values, right parentheses with nothing, gone. And we want to get rid of, you know, the numbers. Maybe we can do, well, it doesn't matter. For that, you'd probably have to do one, two, three, four, and so on. However, 
it would be recorded. But right here, every time you pull this data, this query is going to connect and remember these steps you wanted to do. So it's automatically going to pull those out. And now we're just going to hit close and load. Doing the same thing, conference standings table. Wonderful. And it shows exactly how we want it. So if we had to chop up that data every single time, that would take a while. We'd have to write a macro, VBA is changing all the time, links break, and so on. We didn't do any of that. But tomorrow, the data is going to be different. Points will change, wins, losses for some of the teams, not all of them, how many games back, everything. And we don't want to have to run that query every day. So you just click anywhere in it. It doesn't matter. We'll pick this one. Actually, we'll pick that one. And then we will go to data. And we can either hit refresh. Every time you just open the sheet, hit refresh. It's going to pull that data from the source again and give you a new set and it followed all those steps again. So it did the QC check for the duplicates, it removed the parentheses, and tomorrow it'll do the same thing for that new info. But we don't even want to do that. We'll hit refresh all, in the drop down here, and we go to connection properties. And this one, maybe you're watching a stock, you could have it refresh every 60 minutes, every three hours, every two seconds, it doesn't matter. You can make it automatically do that for you so you never have to enter data in here again. No more errors, no more transposing. And my favorite though, refresh data when opening the file. I get it in the morning, I pull this report, I see this, I want to do something changed, okay. I gotta copy it, paste it, or run the query again. Nope, not anymore. Every single time I open the file, I get it. We go, okay. So if we close this and we opened it again tomorrow, it's gonna give us the new updated information. Everything is gonna be perfect. It's awesome. So that's a quick rundown of Web Query and an intro to Power Query and how it can really automate your entire life for the most part. Any data that you have that's updated on the internet, it's going to do that for you. It maintains the connection. You just open the spreadsheet. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.